with my highly evolved brain. And the 28 years worth of knowledge that I have accumulated in the innermost workings of the female mind. I will now attempt, using household items, to demonstrate the differences in the thought processes between a man's brain and a woman's brain. Y'all stick with me on this? I gotta, I gotta tell you, I'm on something. Now, let's start with the men. This is a, a, a visual representation of a man's brain. Bag of skinny. Now, as I hold this package in my hand, this is a complete and total man's brain. Now, if you look inside, it is compiled of a billion little individual thoughts that in no way, shape, or form are connected to anything other than its own damn self. You cannot connect these thoughts. They do not connect. Why? Because them some bitches don't go together. They're individualized. All right, let me, let me just show you the innermost workings of a damn man's brain. Let me get me one of these skitties up out of this damn package here. Hang on, look here. All right, this right here is one man's thought. It's a single thought out of a man's brain. Let's say, at this end of it, it says I need to cut the grass. At this end of it is the actual motion toward going to cutting grass. Let's go along the man's thought process, shall we? I need to cut the grass. I wonder if some bitch got gas in it. Do I need to sharpen them lawnmower blades? Boom, it breaks. You know why it broke? Because we just thought about if our woman's got panties on today or not. And it just don't break one time, okay? It can keep on breaking. Does she have a bra on? Do I need a snowball? Fuck, it's hot out here. Are the braids winning? Where the hell my damn lawnmower for? Anyway, this is what I got left out of that thought. Now, we're going to eventually get back to cutting the grass, but this is just the process that we go through. I don't know where that thought about the cutting the grass went. It's down there somewhere. Anyway, a woman is the complete and total opposite of this thought process. Let me demonstrate. Here I have a visual representation of a woman's brain. There it is right there. I knew I had this on the camera. Here I have 150 yards of 17 pound monofilament fishing line that I have tied together with a double polymer knot. It does not break very easily. Everything is connected. It's abrasion resistant. Everything's connected. Did you hear me on that part? Everything's connected. Let's just say, for example, on that loop right there. Somewhere in there is a thought that says, I'm hungry. Well, we're going down the line a little bit. I'm going to ask my man if he'll take me to Chick-fil-A. So we in the truck on the way to Chick-fil-A. On down the line, she notices that the damn truck is clean. Her thought process is, why did he clean his truck? Why, who is he trying to impress? And then it spirals, and it keeps going. Who is he trying to impress? Why does it smell nice in here? Is that a new air freshener? Is he trying to cover up another woman's scent? Is he seeing other women? I'm starting to get pissed off. I'm going to look out the window for a little while and turn my knees toward the windows where he knows that I'm pissed off, but I'm not going to say anything because, you know, it, it, it's not worth the battle. Oh, look, a billboard with an engagement ring on it. I wonder if he ever thought about proposing to me. I wonder if he ever thought about proposing to any woman. How dare he date other damn women before he ever met me? He's such an asshole. He never does anything right. He won't even take out the trash. I'm gonna keep on being silent. I'm gonna keep on, but I ain't gonna say nothing until after I get my Chick-fil-A because I'm getting my damn Chick-fil-A. You know why? Because he bought that other bitch Chick-fil-A. This is what we're up against, man. This is why we can't win. We won't never win. And just because I understand this shit now because I done broke the code don't mean I know how to fix this shit because there ain't no fixing. I accept defeat. I'm out. Oscar Unicorn Tango. I'm out. Shit.